Last summer, my best friend, I'm her best friend, went with my family to Ohio for vacation. When we weren't playing around, swimming, or eating ice cream, or eating ice cream, we did a little cooking. One night, we were in charge of the salad, and while we were making it, I tasted a cherry tomato. This is the best cherry tomato I've ever had. So my mom said, do you want to meet the family who grew them? And I was like, do you know the farmers? And she said, not yet. And before we knew it, we had a little project going. Once we got back home, we had a lot of questions. What's the difference between food we saw on the farm and the food around here? What's okay to eat? What is it made of? And what is a fungus? <laughs> We're going to figure this all out. This is like a really big problem, I think, these days. Actually being able to get your food where you know it, where it came from. Israel. Oh, Healthy chores. We decided to ask an expert. Kate is a food activist who tries to improve what kids eat. Oops, Looks okay. What's in here? What is wow. That? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. What? What is Look that? Look at all the ingredients. Soya mean man and trade. I don't know what that says. What do you what do you think they say? I like to shop at the farmers market as much as possible. Even in New York we have a farmers market Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, all year round. So having farmers markets all year round is a good thing. We did some research to see where they are. Here's where there are some farmers markets in Manhattan. Some neighborhoods have them and some don't. Like in Harlem, where our friend Caleb lives. Caleb and I fenced together after school. Before my heart attack, I pretty much ate anything and everything that I liked. Midnight snacks. Midnight snacks, thank you very much. Midnight snacks, midnight cheeseburgers. I would accompany him. I think we like shouldn't be eating like that and don't want something else to happen like that. One of the things I'm trying to do is change the way they eat because it's going to affect the way they eat later on in their life. No more um, um, sesame chicken. No more, no more lo mein. No sesame chicken. Sushi. We have sushi. Sushi. Okay. Sushi. We've got to get more fruits and veggies in our school lunch. We're going to find out why margarine doesn't melt. We need to meet more of the people who grow our food. And we're going to try to eat as much locally grown food as possible. It's going to be an interesting trip and probably difficult. But, but it's definitely going to be delicious. Be dreams. You know this living's not so hard as it seems. Don't.